Hello everybody, and welcome to my channel Vosky's Collection, where your favorite heroes and villains come alive. Today, I'll be unboxing and reviewing Hot Toys TMS-038, Nightmare Batman, and Superman. In Zack Snyder's Justice League, Superman is wearing an iconic black suit. The first appearance of black suit occurred in Action Comics number 689, when Superman was resurrected. The Nightmare Batman suit was incorporated in Batman v Superman, was incorporated into DC Comics back in 2017, when Batman wore the trench coat and goggles, when he and Catwoman were forced to leave Gotham City. This two-pack release from Hot Toys comes in a grey and black art box, with a see-through window showing both figures and multiple accessories. First off, we have Superman in his black suit. Superman comes with an assortment of hands, basically four pair of hands. He's got two fists on the figure and three pairs of relaxed hands. He comes with another portrait, but you can tell this is the angry, getting ready to shoot laser beams or a heat vision head sculpt. The portrait is very well sculpted and painted. Now look at the strands of hair. The detail. Look at the grinding teeth and the chiseled jaw. Now the eyes can light up batteries. The batteries come included. Interchangeable head sculpt. Superman also comes with a base and a flight pole. It's adjustable and the clip is formed inside to protect the suit. The clip on the side allows you to hold the figure and show it in mid-flight. The pole is flexible for maximum range of posing in any direction. The base is sculpted and painted to resemble the ramp of the back of a plane with metal surface and metal clips. It has the Justice League logo painted in bronze and silver. And a plate with Superman printed. The bottom is also molded plastic, painted to look like metal beam. Now let's punch in on Superman. Superman's main head sculpt also has the clenched jawline. The blue eyes and the resemblance to actor Henry Cavill. The hair is painted dark brown and it shows the strands. The paint application is magnificent. The likeness to Henry Cavill is spot on. Now the design of this black suit as shown in uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League is very similar to the movie Batman v Superman where the, the suit was actually blue and red and yellow. Uh, the actor had a silver undersuit that filters over the black fabric of the outer suit and it gives it that shine. The chest logo is silver painted as well as the belt sections of the suit. A darker black color is seen on the boots. By the way, the thread under the boots is pretty cool. The cape is soft fabric and is folded at the shoulders so it drapes down. Another great thing about the cape is that it has wires on the sides and on the bottom and it gives it life and more posability. Let's go over articulation. 
Superman can look up, down. He's on a double bolt joint that allows him to look right. And left. And tilt side to side. His arms can go up sideways to about 90 degrees. The arm can shrug up and down and it can swivel in and out. The arm can go forward to about there and backwards to about there. The elbow has a double joint that gives it an incredible amount of flex. Superman can crunch, go back to about there, move side to side, and lean left and right. Superman's leg can go up to about there, can go forward to about there, and back to about there. The knee is double jointed for maximum amount of flex. Superman's feet can go side to side. up and down, and swivel in and out. This has been my review of Superman. Now let's take a look at the other figure in the box, Nightmare Batman. This is Batman with the Nightmare suit, and it comes with a lot of accessories. Let's take a look. I love these. These are his binoculars. The two barrel chambers of the binoculars and the objective lenses are very well painted. The right side appears to be painted so that it has a cracked lens. It's painted very well throughout and has a lot of weathering to show like it's been used for a while. Grime and silver brushing throughout. The binoculars have a pleather strap that is very well secured. He also comes with a Colt pistol. The pistol you can remove the clip. And he comes with a holster where you can place the gun when you're not using it. The handle is painted off-white or pearl. The rest of the pistol is painted brownish gray uh, to resemble metal. And the chamber is painted gold. The handle also has silver in the screws to make it look more realistic. Hot Toys also included this tool to move the eyes inside the cow. Oh yes, the eyes are movable. He also comes with three mouth plates. An open mouth screaming plate. A closed mouth one that he's wearing right now. And a semi open mouth plate. Uh, they are interchangeable. These mouth plates are very easy to exchange. He also comes with a spare scarf that is wired for you to put in the shape that you like. This one you can cover his mouth or you can cover his face or whatever you want to do with it. The one he's wearing, um, you can't move it around as much. He also comes with a FN SCAR MK2 rifle 
The buttstock is retractable. It has a joker card taped. You can pop up the scope up and down. And the magazine is also removable. It's also very well painted with sand and dust, uh, light grayish color with green uh, and silver brushing to resemble metal. You can also bend the, the buttstock if you want to. This strap is also made out of leather to resemble leather. And then you have the goggle. Molding is very nicely done with a lot of grime and speckling. Colors are green and bronze around and the middle portions look like glass. And this one's cool because it goes around his head. So it, they put a, a elastic strap in the back and it's very well secured. He also comes with an assortment of hands. He has the two fists in the figure and an extra pair of hands. We have gun holding hands and two relaxed hands. I got to emphasize the paint application on the hands is fantastic. The straps are molded in the hands to match the gauntlets. They're painted green and dusty. The knuckles are painted cold to make it pop. A lot of details in the fingers and they're painted black. Lastly, the base is the same as Superman's. Painted with two tones of gray to make it look like metal. They have the molded clips to resemble the back ramp of a plane. The Justice League logo in bronze and silver, and the silver nameplate with Nightmare Batman on it. This one has a crutch grabber, and the bottom has the Fox metal beams, but it's all made of plastic. Now let's take a look at the Nightmare suit. Batman comes with his cow, movable eyes, and the cow has molded the frown angry look. The face plates are interchangeable. It comes with a scarf around the neck, secured in place. The suit comes with a weathered Batman logo in front. Paint application on the ab section to show or enhance the six pack. Overall, the suit has battle marks, knife cuts, and potentially bullet holes. The paint application added grime, weathering, to make it seem as if it's been in the desert for years. Batman's utility belt is painted black and gold with dents and scratches. Under the utility belt, he has a tactical hunting belt to hold a Colt holster. The knee pads are plastic over the green cargo pants, painted with scuff marks. The cargo pants have very nice stitching with pockets with also some dirt and weathering to show dust. The boots also painted black with some weathering to look dirty up. It has gold clips in the back. really rough threads under the boot with two shades of black to enhance the texture. The fins in the back of his gauntlets are painted gold and are very sharp to the touch. The gauntlets are painted black with weathering to look all scratched up. 
The paint is the same inside out. It looks like it has been in combat for a while. The green straps around the gauntlets are very well painted, with tones of green to give it depth, painted similarly on both sides. The trench coat is made of a soft fabric to look and feel like suede outside and silky on the inside. It is wired from the top to the bottom to make it more poseable. Metal buttons are attached to the back. The three lower ones of the trench coat, two of which are buttoned up and the last one is ripped. The trench coat is wired at the bottom as well and also the materials are painted to look warm. The trench coat also has buttons in the front and holes on the side. Now let's take a look at the Nightmare Batman's figure articulations. His head can go up and down and side to side. Unfortunately the cow is long enough that keeps his head from going to the full range but you get some mobility leaning left and right, but also very restricted. Same thing with his arm. Since the suit is rubber and the trench coat is over it, it's very restrictive of movement and it's very difficult to move around. However, you can go up to about 90 degrees. The suit is also limited for the shrugging on the shoulders and the swivel in and out. The arm can go forward to about there and it can flex back to about there. The elbow can flex to about 90 degrees. The torso area is also restrictive because of the rubber suit, but you can get some crunch and extension to about there. You can twist a little bit to the left and right and some lean left to right, but not much. Batman's legs can go up to about there, up to about there, and backwards to about there. There is a double joint at the knees that allow you to give it a little more than 90 degrees. Forward mobility and backwards of the legs is very restrictive. The foot can go up to about there and back and lean side to side. and swivel in and out. This has been my review of Zack Snyder's Justice League, Nightmare Batman and Superman from Hot Toys. If you like this video, please like it, share it and leave your comments below. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to alert you when new content is uploaded. Remember to collect what you love and I'll see you on the next one.